Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my drugstore makeup favorites. I think the last drugstore makeup favorites video I did was probably like back in March or April of this year. So I wanted to do an updated one. Now some of these items are repeat favorites and then I actually have a lot of new drugstore favorites that I wanted to share with you guys. And as many of you guys know, over the last couple of years, drugstore makeup has just been killing it. And a lot of their products, and I know like brands like even Wet n Wild, some of their products are very comparable, if not better, to you know items that you get at Sephora and Ulta. And honestly, I buy more makeup from the drugstore now than I do from Sephora and Ulta. So I wanted to share my favorites with you guys. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys would like to see my drugstore makeup favorites, then just keep watching. I think the only categories that I don't have an item to share with you guys is blush and primer. So I have quite a variety to share with you guys. So I wanted to start off with foundations first. Now, I know many of you guys, if you watch my channel, you already know one of them that's going to be in there. So let's just start off with the most obvious one. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Now, I'm wearing this foundation today and pretty much every Every single video that I film for you guys I have this foundation on I absolutely love it and it is under five dollars at Walmart I think it's like 469 I know I can get pretty exact with you guys because that's how much I buy it but um, this is the shade golden beige now I'm not wearing the shade but in a couple weeks when I really have lost my tan I will switch over to this but um, I think the shade I, shade I have on today is cream beige and then the shade that I wear in the summertime is desert beige. But this is such an amazing foundation, you guys. Now, it does, the only downfall to this, but it doesn't really bother me and honestly, like, I don't notice it once I put it on my face. But it does kind of smell like paint a little bit, but... Once you put it on your face, you don't really notice it, but this is great. I love that it has this little, like, doe foot, well, not doe foot, but, like, this little wand applicator. It just makes application so easy, and this is definitely full coverage, but it doesn't feel full coverage on your face. It lasts a really long time. I don't have any issues with it settling into any lines where I've tried other foundations. They will start after a couple hours, or especially if I'm wearing it, like, for six to eight hours, I, it'll start to to kind of bunch up and crease around my smile lines which I don't like I don't have any issues with this it's very long wearing and I love it and this is also great for if you're going to be taking pictures with flash this doesn't have SPF in it it's a really great foundation it's my favorite foundation no in demand right now it has been for a while and um, I just buy this all the time so the next foundation is the L'Oreal Paris infallible 24-hour fresh wear foundation and I actually decided to try this because I watch a lot of lifetime and I think I've mentioned that to you guys before but I kept seeing the commercials for this foundation so I'm like let's just try a different foundation Ashley now I like this foundation it's got the SPF in it so especially in the summertime you know during the day this is like my go-to foundation if I was gonna be outside not taking any pictures or anything but like if I'm going somewhere at night it would obviously be this one right here but during the day this was a really great foundation I could wear it for I mean I don't wear foundation for 24 hours I know a lot of these foundations are coming out with our 24 hour wear I don't wear foundation that long I the longest I wear foundation is like probably eight hours but I have had this on for eight hours before and I still don't have any issues with it It doesn't settle into any fine lines it blends out really nicely it doesn't look cakey so this is another great one from the drugstore as for foundation I mean it's a BB cream but I still wanted to mention this especially for the summer or like say I want to have just a little bit of coverage on my face this one's great. I've been using it for uh, a couple of years now, but it's the Maybelline Dream BB Fresh 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector. So this is in the shade Medium Deep, but in the winter time, if I do want to wear a BB cream, I think I have the, um, I think I just wear Medium, but this is Medium Deep. And I actually put a dent in this. There's like not too much of this left, but I really do like this. It's really lightweight and you don't, you can't even tell that you have anything on your face. It's like your skin, but better pretty much. That's what a BB cream is. It's not full coverage foundation, but I do like this one. And also this does have SPF 30 in it, which is nice. So for concealer, I have one to mention. I have tried other drugstore concealers. I haven't tried like a lot, but 
For me, I typically am sticking to my higher end concealers like Too Faced or Urban Decay. So this one has been like, and honestly, like all the lettering is off of it. I just grabbed one. I could have grabbed like a cleaner one. But um, I've been using this one for years as um, a go-to drugstore concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I don't know what shade this is in. This is in the shade Sand. So this is a really great lightweight concealer. You know, it definitely conceals. But what I like about it is it doesn't look cakey. Now, I did try out this one, the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear, and I even have it on today to give it another try, but I honestly kind of don't like this one, and I know everyone was saying that this was a dupe for the, the Tarte Shape Tape, which it kind of is, but I don't really use the Tarte Shape Tape anymore because I just feel like it looks still a little bit cakey underneath my eyes for other people. You know, they don't have that issue for me. It just brings out my fine line a little bit more than I would like it to. So if you guys don't have issues with the Tarte Shape Tape, and it used to be like my favorite, but I don't use it really much anymore. But if you guys are looking for like an affordable version, I would recommend this one. But I don't really care for this one. I don't use it as much again. But this one right here is really nice. It doesn't really give you like a drying or cakey or bring out the fine lines underneath your eyes. So I just wanted to recommend this one to you guys because this one's been definitely a favorite of mine for, I want to say maybe like five or six years now. So I wanted to mention my favorite lashes from the drugstore and I don't buy lashes from anywhere else but like Walmart or the drugstore. So I have three to share with you guys and I will start with the ones that I am wearing today and the ones I'm wearing today are not the ones that I wear every day that are my favorites but I decided to start wearing these again. These are the Salon Perfect Wispies and they are in the shade 6 or the shade they are in the style 614 oh my goodness you guys. So that's what they look like, but I have them on today. Now these ones I like because they're wispy, but they're longer. So if you want a little bit more of a dramatic wispy effect, these ones are great. For every day where I wouldn't wear these be again because they are a little bit, you know, dramatic. Well, not dramatic, but they're longer than my other ones. But I did want to share these with you guys. They are great. Next, we will go to my absolute favorite that I wear all the time. And honestly, people can't even tell that I have lashes on when I wear them. I wear them pretty much when I film all the time too. These are the Kiss number 11 lashes. Like these lashes, you guys are amazing. I love them. They're wispy, but they're not too overwhelming. I don't like really, really dramatic, overwhelming lashes. These are like your lashes, but better. So um, these ones are great, you guys. They sell them pretty much anywhere. I get mine at Walmart, and when Walmart doesn't have them, I have actually purchased them from Amazon Prime, and they're the same price. I think it's like $8.88 for a five-pack. That's how much I purchased them that I know the prices. So um, I will link these from Amazon down below. And then lastly, these ones, I wanted to mention mention too I need to start wearing them again I used to love the kiss out kiss kiss out kiss blowout lashes but I kind of went back to just the number 11s but these are some great ones as well this is in the style bouffant but they have a couple other nice styles as well now these ones I don't wear as much because I do have to cut them or trim them uh, because they are a little bit longer than these. So these are just quick to apply. Same with the 614s that I have on now. I don't have to trim them. But these I do have to trim. But when I actually take the time to trim them, they do look beautiful. So again, I wanted to recommend these as well. I wanted to mention some drugstore brushes that I use every day. And they're great. I've been using them for years. And guys, these brushes are... I don't even know how old. I mean, I want to say these are probably like 5 years old. And... You can't even tell, but they are Real Techniques. I love Real Techniques brushes, and I'm glad that the drugstore carries them now because before I think I had to like actually purchase them from their website. I know, or I'm pretty sure Ulta carries them as well. And also when you guys watch my TJ Maxx and Marshall's high-end makeup videos, I know they carry Real Techniques as well. But these are just really great durable brushes. They have stood the test of time. So this one right here, um, I use to apply my setting powder underneath my eyes. And I will also use this one to apply setting powder underneath my eyes. I used to contour with this one, and you still can. Like years ago, I used to contour. This is a really good contour. 
um, brush and I probably I want to like use it again for contouring but um, I always use my NARS Eda now for that and then this is just one of their blush brushes but again like there's no shedding with these I don't have any issues with them and I've owned them for years they're really great so going back to powders I have some bronzers a highlighter and setting powder to mention so I will start off with a setting powder I actually have another one but it's like broken but this one I wanted to mention first I just purchased this one from Amazon recently because the other one I had hit pan on but this is the NYX HD uh, finishing powder I just love this one you guys so this is in their shade translucent they also have a banana powder one as well mine um, like the whole like lid kind of cracked so I need to get a new one but I like that one as well I like to use the banana shade for setting underneath my eyes but I will either use this for under eyes or my whole face I'll use it for both it's just a very great setting powder so I absolutely love this one and another one that's really great that I have to get um, another one up because the lid kind of cracked is the rim I don't know what it's called, but it's the Rimmel setting powder. That one's really good as well. And then for bronzers, I have, what, three here from the drugstore. This one I had for a really long time, and I never used it. And then up until, like, I want to say seven months ago or six or seven months ago, I was like, let me try using this again. And I actually love it, and I used it today for my bronzer. But this is the Milani Baked Bronzer, and this will last me a lifetime. <laughs> I use this quite a bit and it's nice too especially for like the summer or warmer months because it's got like these like shimmery gold reflexes in I don't know if you guys can see it so this is a really nice pretty bronzer it's almost comparable to Mac Gimme Sun a little bit Mac Gimme Sun doesn't have like the gold reflexes is in it and Mac Gimme Sun is like my favorite bronzer so this uh, Milani baked one is really great I'm wearing it today and I love it and then next this one is another one that I would say is definitely very comparable to Mac give me sun and this is my second one I've gone through and I'm already hitting pan on it this is the Neutrogena healthy skin blends natural radiance bronzer and this is in the shade 30 sun kissed I just gonna open it up so you guys can see it I've hit pan obviously but this is just such a beautiful nice bronzer it gives you such a beautiful flush and it doesn't look like muddy or anything because some bronzers and I know you guys probably have tried bronzers before where you blend it out. It just doesn't blend out nicely. It can look muddy on the cheeks. This one blends out so nicely, you guys. Again, this is definitely comparable, in my opinion, to MAC Give Me Sun. Now, the only one with this one is this is a little bit of a pricier bronzer, in my opinion. I think this goes anywhere from like $10 to $14. I might have paid like... I don't know, maybe like $10 or $12 for this, but nonetheless, it is a very nice bronzer. And then the last bronzer is definitely a new favorite for me within the last month. I had tried this before, and I think it was just the shade wasn't dark enough of a bronzer for me, so that's why I didn't really like it. But this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer, and this is in the shade Palm Beach Ready. You guys, this bronzer, I think, is $4 or under. It's really nice. It does have like a little bit of fallout to it, but it doesn't really bother me. And then it's kind of shimmery as well. It's really beautiful. It blends out really nicely on the skin. I really like it. For highlighters, I typically go for my high-end highlighters. I don't typically go for drugstore highlighters. But this one right here, you guys, again, Wet n Wild takes the cake. This is in the shade Precious Petals so nice you guys it's so beautiful i'll actually swatch it out it's creamy it's pigmented it's not drying because there's highlighters that can like kind of feel drying hopefully that's picking up on camera because it's really bright outside and i know my lights are bright but this is another really beautiful highlighter you guys and again i believe this is under four dollars or it might be like a little over four dollars last but not least are eye products now i want to start off with mascaras these mascaras are just my go-to's and they have been for a while now so I haven't really switched it up but they are great nonetheless. So the first one in my opinion is a dupe to the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's just probably like 12 bucks or 13 or whatever dollars cheaper than it. This is the L'Oreal um, Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. The wand is uh, similar as well. It just is going to give you just the really um, full and wispy lashes. If you guys can see the wand, hopefully you can. So I really like this one. I will use this for my upper lashes. And then this mascara, I've been using this for, I don't even know. <laughs> 
years and years and years. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic and this is in carbon black. Now I used to use this on my upper lashes, but I just primarily use this for my lower lashes now. But this is going to lengthen and separate this wand right here. And it's so good at doing that, you guys. I use it for my lower lashes. But um, it's not going to give you like a voluminous, um, wispy effect like this one will. Now, I wish that like they could combine these together and this would give you like the lengthening and separating um, as well. And um, that would be great. But nonetheless, these are two really great drugstore mascaras. I love them. I always purchase them. And for eyeliner, I love felt tip eyeliners. That's just my preference when it comes to lining my upper lash line. So Wet n Wild has a great one and it's like three maybe like $3.93. I know this sounds bad, but I know the prices, you guys, because I'm buying so often. So this one is really great. I think I need to buy a new one soon because I might be drying out, but it's super affordable. It does the job and I love it. I'm not going to spend like $20 on an eyeliner when I can just get a wet and wild one. So this one's really nice. I wanted to recommend this one to you guys. And sticking to liners, I wanted to mention my favorite nude liner to line my inner waterline. I don't use a nude shade um, as much as I use a black like I did today, but when you do use like a nude or a lighter shade, it just really makes you look wide awake and your eyes look bigger. When you use black, it makes them look a little bit smaller, but I've tried other liners before. I always go back to this one. This is the Rimmel um, Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer, and this is in the shade in the nude. And this one is just the perfect nude, you guys. I can swatch it out for you guys so you can see. It's really, I it should be picking up. Hopefully you guys can see it. But this one just makes your eyes look so bright, so wide awake. So I love it. This is my favorite one. I think I might have had to buy this on Amazon because um, Walmart didn't have it last time I checked. So I will link this one down below, but it's definitely great. And then lastly, this is going to be like a breakthrough. Now it's not on the level of Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz because you guys know that's my favorite brow pencil, but I have found a drugstore brow pencil that I can use for the days I don't, you know, that I'm just like running errands or going here or going there because I, I try to have a drugstore one so I'm not using that one as much so I'm not paying like the $21 every month and I have found one you guys. This is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. And this is in the shade, hold on, this is in the shade blonde. So in the, Anastas in the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow was, I cannot talk today, I use the shade taupe. But it's pretty nice, you guys. It's got a really small defined like pencil, if you will. So I am liking this one, again, for days where I'm not doing a full face of makeup, but I need to fill in my brows. This is what I've been using, and it's been doing the job. So I would definitely recommend this one. Okay, you guys, so hopefully this video wasn't too long, but let me know what are your drugstore makeup and beauty favorites. Are any of these your favorites? Are you going to try any of these? Are there any that you would like to let me know about that I haven't mentioned that are like like transformational and life-changing. I would be curious to find out. I love drugstore makeup. But anyways, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.